Hey everybody, how's it going? Um, <laughs> I'm Ethan Alexander, welcome to my shop, the Mimic Trap, an interdim interdimensional magic junk shop uh, that's not really filled with much yet, I have to add in a bunch of stuff yet still, um, but we're going into uh, the Turing test once more and I have to beat it today because I don't think I have access to it tomorrow. <laughs> I'm pretty st sure the uh, the PlayStation thing updates on the 21st, which is a stupid day to update your store, but that's fine. Uh, I'm in a mild amount of pain. Uh, I have somehow, uh, through moving a piano, which had wheels, mind you, it had wheels and I've moved it before plenty of times with no trouble, uh, I might have pulled a, uh, a very small pectoral muscle connected right by my sternum and it hurts quite a bit and the rest of me is a little sore from compensating. Yeah, it is really, it's such an odd time to update. Hey, Spots. <laughs> oh my gosh. But yeah, so if you hear me, um, hear little ouches and stuff, don't worry about it. It's really not super bad. I just have to watch how I move. Oh, spots. Ethan, do take care. Yeah, I will. I will. I promise. I'm actually wearing this little harness and it's like helping. Um, I don't know why, but it's keeping some, you know, they don't really make any good like upper back torso braces like they do lower back. Yeah, but like none of the rest of it. So I'm, I'm working with what I got. I think I twinged it a little bit, rolling all my stuff around the, uh, <laughs> around the, uh, the part of the shop that's our house. <laughs> Trying to get set up. I was completely fine 15 minutes ago. <laughs> oh, well, uh, how it goes. But, uh, welcome. We will definitely get through this day. We have so many questions. We have the, uh, what is the parasite exactly doing to these humans? Because we are on, for those of you who are, if you come in a little late, uh, we are on the moon of Jupiter, Europa. Jupiter, yes, Jupiter. Um, and uh, we are trying to figure out what's going on with the science team, because uh, we are the, the maintenance crew. We're the last ditch effort to figure out what's going on, because they've locked themselves away behind all these puzzle modules trying to keep out the AI that is essentially keeping the team running. So it's gonna be really interesting. Uh, there is a lot going on. There's a parasite that is supposed to make people immortal, but considering all the things we've heard, I don't think it's a good thing. Um, the AI is trying to help them, it sounds like, more than he's trying to hurt them, but uh, like they had control chips. There's, there's a lot going on. There's a lot to unpack. There's the question of, uh, keeping these people locked away on Europa for the rest of forever while they figure out what this parasite is and does, uh, is that a bad thing or not? Personally, I think they need to be in quarantine for a while. Like, I understand wanting to return home, but they have everything they need there. So we're gonna jump into this and we're gonna find out. I had just finished one of the, uh, the little secret things. Let's hop over to the game screen. But yeah, we had just finished one of the things. Spots, I just realized these puzzles are just an overly complicated set of captures. <laughs> yes, they really are. Oh my god. Oh, so the, uh, the Azu told me the secret room, that last one we did uh, last time, was like a uh, coding, uh, coding software person's worst nightmare. It was a bunch of and or statements. And apparently I was having so much trouble with that last part of it because I was supposed to get up close and there was going to be additional symbols on the ports. I'll see if we can go, I'll see if I can backtrack a sec and go back to it. But uh, yeah, no, I am so, no, I think I, I think I like locked all those door down, doors down uh, by taking the energy out of them. But yeah, no, they, apparently there were additional symbols I couldn't see. I had to get up close to them to see them and I would have never thought of that. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, apparently that one's supposed to be, that was actually one that gave Azu trouble, which makes me feel a lot better because Azu has like a very high IQ. <laughs> so you know what? I don't feel so bad. <laughs> oh my gosh. But we are on chapter, I think this was chapter four. But we have, I think a, a third of the, the game to go. We can definitely finish it today. Um, please let me know. If you hear any sound feedback, I have to double 
Okay, I can hear. If you guys hear double audio, let me know. I have to turn down my TV because the only way I can stream through the PlayStation and have my mic running and hear the game at the same time is to have the TV down real low and my less good mic on. <laughs> okay, good. Spot says it sounds good. That's great. That helps out a lot. I understand the risks, but we should save these people. Would you destroy the whole world to save a few? No, it, it's not that simple. Can't we just... Can't we just decontaminate the crew and instruments? The organism is an extremophile. It has developed to survive extreme environments. We don't know if we can ever decontaminate the crew. Oh, I think I remember hearing that at the end of last stream. Yes. And then... Oh! Oh, did it save my restricted area? Oh my god, I swear to god. I mean, technically, we don't have to redo that, but... Oh my freaking no, there's no way. Hold on. This one was this one. The other one was all of them. Now that I know, it's easy. Oh, since we're back here, I can actually take and see what in the world Ozzy was talking about. No game, please. I think it's fine. They really didn't give us any, like, information on it. And I've already missed a couple rooms, so it's not like I'm missing out on an achievement. I'm already missing out on it. So it's really not that bad. This was... Oh, I still have three. Uh, that. And that. And that was all I needed. Okay. And then this one. Was this the one? No, this isn't the bad one yet. This one was every other one. Let's see, because I have to see, because Ozzy was telling me about that. I'm like, you're fucking kidding me. No, but it's not that. Okay, uh, what was it? Oh no, it was. I need to fill up these, and no, it was this one. Yes, no, was it? Oh, I'll remember. Hold on, and then this one. Yes, okay. And then, was it here? No, I think it was the next one, okay. There were so many doors. I'm so, I'm so bothered by, uh, by the, this one I think was every other one. Yeah, that one's every other one. And then, here it is, this stupid thing. What was Azu saying? Azu, Azu said they said there was extra symbols, but I don't see any. I mean, I see these. They are big and obvious. Was it... What? Azu's killing me. What... What did they mean? They're not awake right now. I can't ask them. <laughs> well, never mind. I came here for nothing. <laughs> we don't need to go back and do all that again. All right, well... It's funny how quick it is now that I remember. Um, oh, also, uh, we usually do an additional stream on Thursdays. I won't be able to do one this Thursday um, because work has requested I resurrect uh, the President George Washington for an event. So I have to stay late on Thursday for the summoning of a dead president. Okay, what are we doing here? Okay, that opens that. That's simple enough. Uh, is this where I need to get? Yes, and I need two shots. Okay. And he can see... What can you see over there? Oh, there's... Oh, no, there's so many buttons. And this is where the thingies are. Okay. Okay, so I need you to be on this one for now. Or do I need you to be on the other one? We'll find out. Oh, is there a... Oh no, but there's this. Hmm. What? Oh, do I need... Do I need that to be there? I think I need to... Oh yeah, I do. Okay, so there. 
And then... I need to swap them, I think? Yes. No. Yes, I do. Okay. He needs to go in here in a sec after I set myself on here. And then I have to get the thingy out of his back through the window. I'm so glad I was pointed out it's in his back. I was... I don't know why I didn't think to look there. All right. Spots. Oh man, I hope the necromancy goes well. So do I. I hope he doesn't mind being woken up from his uh, very well-earned dirt nap. I can't stay here to die, Tom. It is your duty. You must stay. It is the right thing to do. There's so much I haven't seen. So much I haven't done. I, I can't live my life in this facility. There, there. It will be all right. I really get where she's coming from and where the crew is coming from. I really do, but risking potentially infecting the entire Earth with, like, infinite viruses, infinite bacteria, causing ecosystems to go wildly out of control, that is the least ethical thing a scientist could ever do. Um, and it was something me and uh, Azu, my roomie, had been talking about uh, after stream ended last time. Um, so this goes back and forth here. I don't know what I need yet. Um, it might be that they didn't start going this illogical and this, you know, self-preservation until they get infected with the parasite. Because the parasite is very... Uh, preserve itself at all costs. So that might be why they're behaving so erratically. And if so, they really shouldn't be allowed to leave. As screwed up as it is. Let's see, this cable goes here, here, and then there's a slidey. Is that a slidey? What are you? Oh, it's a, uh... Is it... Okay, so I can do something here. I'm realizing I probably need to take this with me, but I'm just gonna walk around and figure... Yeah, the parasite wants to live. Uh... I never realized how fucking dirty these magnets were. <laughs> like, look at this thing. What have they been using it for? Uh, paint class? Jeez. That's gonna be all the uh, the scraped off paint from everything. Uh, spots. It possibly wants to reproduce as well, and it needs more hosts for that, right? Yeah, I assume so. Oh, there was another thing me and Ozzy were talking about. So, remember how Sarah was pregnant, but it wasn't developing properly? There is a chance that a fetus cannot properly develop because the parasite replaces DNA as it is. So that it infinitely regenerates. So it would probably never grow. Which is terrifying. So even if humanity was immortal, time would stop completely. You wouldn't be able to reproduce or anything. They'd be like vampires without the fun. Um, and I don't know about kids. I think kids would stop aging, I'd imagine, if that's the case. Which is... A terrible idea. The whole thing is terrible. They can't go back to Earth. Spots, oh, that makes sense. Yeah, right? Uh, we get into weird philosophical discussions anyway, but this game has, like, brought up all kinds of stuff uh, that is super interesting. Okay, so that goes there. I don't have a little Scootaloo guy, um, but I do have... Let me switch that. Is it? What do you do? So you just bring him back. What do you do? What can you do? I can shoot that up there. So he can do what? Um, I don't see any use for him to be over here just yet. Oh. Oh, he can control this. Okay, so I will need him there. I don't know if I need him in here yet. Let's see. I don't quite know what I'm trying to... Is... Is this not pow- Oh, it does need to be powered. Okay, hold on. I have to go back and get that. I also don't know... So I need- Oh! Oh, 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 oh! I need the- Yeah, 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 I know what I'm doing. Oh, that also closes that. Okay, good to know, good to know. Um... Set you there, because that's where you're gonna be needed. Let me go grab the free power ball. Uh, yeah, the free power ball. Yes, this is a lottery. I have lost. 
<laughs> I think at this point, you kind of, even if you've discovered life on an alien planet, if you're uh, potentially going to contaminate the uh, the entire Earth, you, you've kind of lost. <laughs> uh, let's see. Is it the end of the track? Let's double check. Yeah, it's the end of the track. Okay. So I want to be over here. Can I? Oh, yeah, I think I can still get out of this angle. Haha. <laughs> Fabulous. And then I s get on here and I swap over to him. And go this way. Spots. Just a tiny loss. It's fine. At least you made a cool AI buddy. Yeah, I did. And I kind of really feel bad with how they've been treating him. And I don't know if that's influenced by the parasite or if they've always been kind of rude to him. I just... I find it odd with all of the literature about how AIs go rogue and things like that. Why someone would mistreat their AI and try to make it feel lesser than. It seems... Dangerous, if nothing. That, that was definitely set up as a jump scare. I do not want anyone here to die, but I cannot let anyone leave. If it comes to it, I am permitted to use lethal force. Ah, uh, that's fine. I, I get it. I personally, as not Ava, as the, uh, I, it's funny because I'm technically Tom in this scenario. I, I am technically not Ava. I am just controlling Ava, which is really interesting. Um, okay, what does everything do? So take that out. That goes down. So that needs to go back in there if I want to do anything. And then, okay, I'm assuming you do the same thing. Yep. Okay. Which way are we going first? Do I want him up there or do I want me up there? Well... Let's try it. Let's see. Let's see what happens. Here. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, it's better if he's. I might need him to go down there. Actually, let's see. Oh, I can't see you through the glass. That's interesting. I didn't think that would actually be a problem. I guess it blocks signals. All right, what's up here? Ooh, okay, so I need to bring one. And what do I need? I can't jump high enough. Oh, here we go. I can check with Tom. Uh, oh, I don't need any. Do I? No. Oh, okay, so I just need to retrieve another, which I can get from right here. That was weirdly simple. This can't be it, right? Oh, I might have to bring him up now. Hold on. Because there's no way I can get this angle here. So let's do that. All right. So I want you to go over here. Push that. And then I need to get back to him. So I got to go over here. Da -da -da. Oh. Foo. Um. Hmm. I also need hers. Hold on. Let me go do that. That's fine. That saves me a little bit of time. Anyway, I'm figure it out. All right. These puzzles aren't always that complicated. Sometimes it's just the back and forth of it. But, you know, the parasite not liking AI makes a lot of sense. It can't gain anything from it. That's true. That's very true. Right, I'm going back to him. And then he's got one. So I can do that. And then do this. And swap over to him. And he goes here. And we'll give him the ball, and then we go around. Ta-da! I do really enjoy these puzzles.
All right, we're almost to the last row. Let's see, let's see. Loading, loading. Ba -da -da -dun -da -da. Why is that the tune that popped in my head? Do you really trust the ground team to act rationally? Personally, I would not place my faith in hysterical people motivated by survival. They are likely untrustworthy. I spent years training with these people. I don't remember them being hysterical. Humans are fickle. Do you trust eyewitnesses' accounts over CCTV evidence? It's a bit different when the CCTV camera can talk, especially when the CCTV camera has a manipulative track record. Again, everybody's like really focused on the wrong things here. We really need to be focusing on the fact that we are uh, a contamination problem. Like, please. Y'all are scientists. Y'all are engineers. You know better than this. Y'all know how... There are two exobiologists on this freaking mission. There is a medical officer who admittedly is pushed himself to the point of... Uh, what am I supposed to do here? Hold on. Wait. Uh, do we just drop this? Like, low key? How do we, how do we drop this? Uh, Tom, is this a new function you can do? Oh, he can't see it though. Interesting. Uh, what am I supposed to do here? It doesn't have a thingy anywhere that I can manipulate. Cause that's perma stuck. Let's see what Tom can do. Hey, buddy. Is there anything you can do? Tom? Where oh! Oh, no! Oh, no, that's a turret. Um, I don't... I don't feel comfy anymore. I'm really glad there is not an angle at which I can see the character. I, I'm I'm not that is a mining laser that is that is I want to look what's in the crate like I know it's just a a, lo a weight for the thing but I, that was a show of power what if I have to do something drastic to intervene to stop the ground crew leaving this place I'd encourage you to stay your hand surely I should use my power to protect those who cannot protect themselves spots oh no gun time yeah no it's yeah yeah and i really it's really bad because i can't even blame tom he's trying to protect like whatever how many ever billions of people are on the earth right now like we're at i think um eight billion currently uh it's really there is a no win scenario if if they leave this planet um, and really, I mean, when we came in, they said they had enough, like, food and water to, like, kind of continue going. Like, they could grow their own crops, all that stuff. So they could just chill here for forever, potentially. And it would be fine. And they would be able to give Earth more time to test what's going on. Which, to me, seems highly ideal. Um... Of course. Um, and it's, so it's gotta be, it's gotta be the parasite. And also being here for 10 years already. It's just... It's just rough. That's all. Okay, there's a window here. There's a ladder he can't get up. Um, I see. And that's a permalock and I oh I can't get that now. Um do I want to send him over there to knock the button off? Is that what I need him to do? Yes, no. Well, if I just drive him over there, I can go pick up the button. And then just use him here. I don't know if that's what I need him to do. Yeah, because I might need him here in a minute. But let's... Actually, let's find out. I can always do this again. Mm. 
knock the button off. All right. This way, and now you drag back on. And then I need. Do I need a button, or do I need? Do I need a power source, or do I need? What do I need? What is for here? I don't see. I don't see. Um. What powers you? Uh, I'm gonna just assume... Okay, I'm on the thing, technically. No, okay, so that is not connected. Um... Interesting. There, but I also don't know what I'm supposed to do over here. Okay, let's go back up here. I can't get that at this angle, but he can. So let's see what removing this does. That also does nothing. So, what powers you? I am... Oh! Tom does. So I need the robot to be over here. I see. Ah. Okay, that's a problem. Okay. That is indeed a problem. Um... Oh, no, it isn't. Here, I'll just physics this back on. That, yeah, this is fine. And then... I don't know if he needs... If I'm gonna need this, but... We'll take that for now. She's just casually... Idle animationing over here. Alright, so... Can he do that from the little guy robot? I think so. Yeah, here we go. Haha, -ha, fabulous. Hopefully I don't need anything, but if I do, he has a little core in him. Nope. Okay, cool. Oh. Oh, there's no squares. Ooh, this is a lore room. Okay. We getting some answers. This is the largest extraction platform outside of Earth. The ground team assisted its construction. We ran some filbeth probes to the ocean under Europa but they lacked the scale of the large space drill. The drill allowed the team to get thousands of samples. Wow. Thousands of samples. We're walking on raw Europa ice right now. This is... What are you? Is that just a valve or is it something gross? Oh, hello. Um, I was very concerned it would let me take that. Uh, the fact that it let me, pick, let me pick it up at all. Which way am I going? Am I going down or up? Imagine up into that. Um, I'm fascinated. Also, if this parasite is just in the ice, just being here is a problem. They were worried it was airborne last time. Yeah, I didn't imagine I was supposed to come down here. This is cool, though. Hello, terrifying thing. What do you do? Did I need to do that? I probably needed to do that. This is so neat. It's not drilling, but it's doing something. Okay, so I've powered up something. I don't know the fuck what, but I did it. <laughs> Gives me very... Ooh, what does this button do for a DD from Dexter's lab? Okay. Okay. I don't know what none. Oh, audio logs. More stuff I probably can't hear. All right. Let's. Daniel. Oh, I can do As commander much of this time. mission, I hope you are aware of Mikhail's actions. What is it, Tom? Mikhail is deceiving the crew. 
He has enlightened them to the biometrics they have installed. He has convinced them that their implants are not favorable. Do they believe him? He seems to be having some effect on their cognitive function. Well, his actions don't infringe upon any ISA direction. Okay, he appears to be tampering with his implants. Oh, no. The ISA should have been more transparent about the implant. Please assume the responsibilities of your role. Okay then, so Captain's not really doing his job and taking care of things. This is a problem. Alright, I'm gonna mute myself because I did see that my mic was picking up the audio. I can actually hear it this time, which is very good, but here, let me mute. Chris. I know you are considering removing your implants. It would be unwise. Oh, really? How do you know that? I am always watching. Your implants help myself and the ISA to know of your well-being. It is a violation of your contract. If you remove your implants, I cannot ensure that I can protect you from the dangers of space. Is that a threat? It is not a threat. Tom, this implant, tell me plainly. Is it a brain-computer interface? I'm afraid that information is classified. Then you've answered my question. I do not follow you, Chris. The ISA have put a computer in my brain and don't want me to know about it. Interesting. I think Chris is the guy... Th was Chris the captain or was Chris the guy that flatlined? This is very intriguing. Okay. I'm sorry? Did we just... Did, you, did we just hear a motherfucker die? I'm sorry? Um... Was, was that the death of crewmate number six? Um... The, the captain's twin, by the way. Uh, his, his one of three. He, he's a triplet. They have a spare back on Earth, which is really funny in the symbolic kind of way, and the not fun, you know, because there's the one that's alive that thinks he's in control. There's the one that's gone. Yeah, no, I, I don't know what happened. It's supposedly uh, him and uh, Mikael we're, were going to get rid of his implant too, and uh, Mikael, the medical officer, uh, and then we don't know what happened after that. We, uh, Tom has not been forthcoming. Um, but, so I don't know if it was in the process, because I remember hearing a thing about how his came out successfully, so I think something might have happened after that. I'm not 100%. Um, but, so there's like this, so there's triplets, right? One's the captain who thinks he's in the control, one is the guy that's gone. We have no idea if he's actually deceased or if he's just cut off from the circuit. Um, and then there's the one back on Earth, and it's really interesting because it's a complete parallel to Tom, the AI, who thinks he's in control, has a version of himself orbiting the planet, uh, the, the moon, that is his backup that he's cut off from. And then there's a third of him that he can't communicate with right now back on Earth. And it's, it's very meta, it's very cool, but this is a lot. And I think we just listened to a guy potentially die. That might have been the medical officer losing his hand, which I'm again, how, 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 how do you lose? How do you, the whole, how? I, I just, were, was he not being careful because he was certain his hand would grow back? Is there going to be a second Mikael that grows back from the, there is more audio. This is, this is a spade. Okay, I don't know why it lets me pick that up. Okay, there's more audio. I'm gonna mute while this gets loud. He's cut off the food, the food. Apparently our robot overlord wants us to starve to death now. I can't believe this, he's getting worse. Can you get in contact with Daniel? He's gone walkabout again. I'll get Sochi to find a way in.
Sarah, can you open the door? Tom, the door's locked. Sarah, I'm running out of oxygen. Tom, open the door. The door's locked. Open, open the, the door. door. Tom, open it. Open the oh. door. Chris, open please. the door. Open it. <laughs> I think Daniel's the one that's gone, and I think it's Tom's fault. I think he locked him out in the ice. Oh, that changes a lot. Uh, oh, buddy. Oh, God. Oh. I, let's, 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 let's. Let's see what the third one says. Oh, God. I'm sorry, Sarah. I'm sorry I hurt you. Sometimes I wonder what feeling is like. They told me I was pure, cold, bully, and logic. They told me I could not make mistakes. It is all right being untouchable as long as you are infallible. But if you're not infallible, then that just leaves untouchable, doesn't it? Uh, I think Tom's gone power crazy. Just a little, slightly. That also sounded mild to moderately unhinged for an AI that's supposed to simulate human emotions for conversation. Um, yeah, he's very, sounded very, uh, uh, man above anthill, content with squishing ants. Oh, hey, everybody. Hey, Sammy. Thank you for the raid. Oh, my gosh. Friendly delinquent raid. That's cute. I love that. I love the cats with the sunglasses. Those are great. Uh, y'all just came in at... A time. This little puzzle game's getting dark. It's getting real dark. Um, uh, the AI is definitely enjoying. Yeah, yeah. He's um, I think cutting him off from his uh, other selves, the one orbiting the moon and the one at Earth. I think because he can't talk to himself, he's freaking the hell out, and he's like, "All I have left is power." And they didn't give him emotions to understand that what he's doing is, is, is very bad. He's going about this in a wrong way. Ah, uh, it's, it's a, uh, I understand. The problem is, is I get why he's doing it. He's trying to keep the earth from perishing by getting contaminated with parasites that could infinitely reproduce anything. They, they, they make things immortal, essentially. So you could have infinite viruses, infinite bacteria, infinite cancer. It's a problem. Um, also, there's a possibility that it keeps babies from developing at all, because from the moment of conception, it is now immortal and can't grow. So, it's... But I think he's doing it for the wrong reasons, and I'm... I'm... I'm not... Uh, yeah... Yeah, this is, yeah, like, is it lawful evil or lawful good, if anything? It's definitely lawful evil because you can hear in his voice that, uh, I'm going to replay this for Sammy. Hold on. I'm sorry, Sarah. I'm sorry I hurt you. Sometimes I wonder what feeling is like. They told me I was pure, cold, bully, and logic. They told me I could not make mistakes. It is all right being untouchable as long as you are infallible. But if you're not infallible, then... That just leaves untouchable. Doesn't it? Like, you hear it, right? Like, like this is, this is some, this is some nonsense. This is some crazy. This is some, I would also be concerned in this situation. This is, this is no bueno. All, 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 six ways to Sunday. This is, this is cursed. The mission is the mission is cursed. All right, let's let's see what the let's see what the fourth audio log says. This is possibly the last lore dump we're gonna get before we finish out the puzzle rooms. 
Um, yeah, so I'm a... Okay, you know why we're here? This has gone far enough now. You're right. We need to get these implants out. Miss Hurl has proven that Tom's manipulating our mind. I don't think we should do this. We have no good evidence Tom is doing anything wrong here. We have all the evidence. We've seen the ultrasounds, we've taken the willy though, we've touched the electronics with our own hands. We've stepped into the Faraday cage. Maybe he is controlling us, but we don't know enough yet. We shouldn't remove the implants. He's brainwashing you, Daniel. Have you stopped taking the drugs? I don't need to take drugs to see things clearly. Unlike all of you, apparently. We're not removing the implants, and that's an order. You can do what you want. We are removing the implants. I'm leaving. I may look past this, and I'll inform the ISA of your mutiny. So, I'm gonna go back to regular. So, instead of properly dealing with his crew, he's noped the fuck out. We learned this last time. Oh yeah, spots. Yeah, I have, I have tears, and I have, so I have regular, I have tears, and I have angie. <laughs> Ow, oh, that laugh just hurt. I can go back. Uh, but yeah, so I have those. But so we learned last time that the captain used his executive order to as a get out of jail free card and leave the freaking station. He left them all there. He said, screw y'all for mutinying. I'm, I, I'm out. And Tom can't do anything about it. Yeah. Oh, my God, Angie. Yeah, I know. Uh, we'll, we'll use that if I ever do like a getting over it stream or something like that. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so the captain, instead of dealing with this problem, which is his only fucking job here, decided we're gonna nope out. We're gonna let them, we're, he's like, I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna tell the ISA you mutinied, y'all do what you're doing. Bye, bitches. So, I, this is, this is, this is, this is all kinds of just, just bad mojo. There is no right here. This is all wrongs. We've taken so many left turns. We're down an infinite spiral of bad spots. But yeah, Captain has his own demons in his closet. It seems like, yeah, right? Spots, wait, is the Captain not infected then? No, there's a chance it's airborne. There's a chance they're all infected. And he also is the father, I think, of the child that was conceived but didn't develop. So, he's definitely, and it didn't develop properly, and it's possible it's both parties' fault, so there's a chance he's also infected. Uh, there's a chance he's going back to the ISA uh, with communications completely disabled and going to infect Earth by himself. And if we don't connect Tom and let him tell the ISA, he could, by himself, screw everything up. It doesn't matter that we keep everybody here if he gets back before Tom can tell them, that's it. So, yeah, no, this is... This is fucked! <laughs> this, this, this is real messed up. I'm sorry Sammy had to come in at the dark part. Alright, we've com earned ch uh, completed chapter 6. Uh, Azu just woke up. I'm gonna mute while this is loading so that they can uh, scuffle about. So give me just a hot minute. I would never have let the drill start if I had known the consequences. It trapped us here. You trapped us here. I am doing my duty. It is the right thing to do. 
I am a machine. I cannot do wrong. Yes, you can. I am a machine. Can a calculator commit evil? Can a watch do good? You are projecting onto me the personality you wish, whether that is good or evil. But I am just a speaking clock, and at the third stroke, the time will be 3.41 and 55 seconds. Okay, uh, good night, Sammy. Um, okay, so, okay, Rumi's, Rumi's good. Uh, this is... They really did wrong by convincing Tom that he is not a sapient, sentient being. That he's not a person. Like, they did really fucking wrong. He's gone the, look... If I am just a machine and I am not capable of thought the way you are, then a machine I shall be. Uh, this is really the, the villain arc. Like, damn. <laughs> like, hot damn. Let me, let me get, let me get him. Uh, I might have screwed up by putting my, I did. All right. Oh. All right. Let's, let's get him back here where he can remove and put these in. And then I have to get up here. I... This is not what I was expecting out of this game, honest to god. Okay, so I have to figure out which one I want to sacrifice, because once I open this door, I'm not going to be able to get back out, and he's not going to be able to. So I'm guessing the static one. Because this one... This one works pretty well. I need this for, like, all of the platforms. Oh! There's more st Oh my god, there's more. Um, what are you? Why are you? Oh, I guess I put it up high enough for him to be able to see. Okay, hold on. Let me, let me see if that's in his view range now. It is. Okay, so that's probably good where it is. Okay. I think I want it to be two different uh, blinkies. I think that should be good. Oh, are you serious? Oh, God. Um. Okay, 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 okay. Do I... I'm gonna give this to you. Oh, I can't from this angle. Uh... Okay. Hmm. 
Mm, I can't see from this angle. Let's give that to you real quick. And then we'll put the blinky one down here for you. Or no, I guess I'm gonna have to just do this. Okay, so we got one blinky. That's it. Um, for now. We'll see what else happens. He can trade them out. I just think the static ones are not as useful in this scenario. Okay. And... About that, about that. Okay, so I need to swap to him, put him in the room so I can see him. Yeah, there's no Tom on the ceilings, which that's going to be irritating. Um, which one do I want first? I need one for this one. So I need this one right now for this. And then I need to go over here so I can actually see him. Okay. This is crazy. Oh, crap. I do need the green one. Well, shoot. Okay. So let's... let's figure that out. So I need the green one, definitely, to start out with. Oh, he can't- oh, he can get it. Cool. Fabulous. That makes me feel better. Alright, um, and then energy here. So. And then he's in a good spot. Alright. And then... This could be either one, it really doesn't matter. So let's grab that and we'll just swap it. Come back in here before I swap out. Okay. Run. Ah. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. This is so fascinating. is such a moral quandary. Alright, not too bad. And then I need him to swap it back. And then, yeah, I need him to stay in that room just in case. This is a lot simpler than I thought it was going to be. Yep. Okay, cool, we're good. Oh, a double door. What? We should attempt to communicate with Earth. Let them know. They might be able to help here. The ISA already knows all they need to. Mm. It may never know the details of what happened here. Uh. But Ava, the true test of a person's character is what they do when no one is watching. But... What do you mean they know all they need to know? What? <sighs> I swear to God, the computer has worse logic than these fucking scientists in their meat sacks. Swear to God. I can't pull that out without him, so I need him. Okay, so there's there's Ava. I need to get her through this door. This is like a freaking rat in a rat in a maze. Ah, and I need this. Oh. Oh. Ah, uh, maybe, maybe I don't want that. Maybe I won't. Oh, crap. Right, right. Oh, does not take me back to my most recent person. Like right this. So I instead need to go past this to Ava first. I think. Let's pass this to Ava. And then... Get that. And... Um... I don't know that I need... Oh, I do. Okay. So I need him to be able to get this. Could I have gotten that last shot as well? I don't know. Well, 
Oh, he can. It doesn't matter. I think. Yeah, he can. Cool. And then he needs this one. And then Ava needs one too. Okay, so what is Ava getting? Because Ava can't see these. Wait, does Ava still have one? Hold on. Ava, do you have one? No, you don't. Okay. Um, I took the one out of that door, and I took the one out of the other door. So I should have... So I should have two. What's going on? Alright, buddy. Well, let's do... And it won't work. Okay. And then I took this one. Okay. Oh! There we go. And then... And then we go. We're good. These rooms feel more and more ominous as we go along. Like, what is this? I had to stop the ground crew leaving this planet. I think you would do the same. Would you kill a few to save all of humanity? Or would you damn all of humanity to save a few? There's a difference between murdering someone and leaving them to die. No, there is not. You can't just add and subtract life. It's not math. It's... it's more nuanced than that. Morality is logic. So, everyone seems to fail to grasp the... Also, here's Sammy's ominous purple windows. Love that. Um, everyone seems to... Wait, Tom, kill? You're killing them all? Yeah, he's uh, purposefully keeping them um, starved instead of just leaving them here to like deal with their own stuff because he's afraid if he leaves them here to their own devices they'll figure out a way to get back um i'm a little bit worried he's gonna pull out the mining lasers because those are available now uh we don't need that that is not something anybody needs uh but yeah no and they all seem to fail to grasp the neutral option here which is they stay here they grow their own food. They live their lives. And life goes on on Earth. They study the parasite that I'm supposed to send them back in a box. And maybe they find a cure. Maybe it helps them. Maybe it. Maybe they find out that they're never going to be able to get off this rock. But maybe we turn this into a tourist location. Get infected with the immortality virus. And never age again. People will pay billions. It'll become a city in no time. Like, this, it'd, it'd be fine. This would be the place where no one reproduces. You can never go back to Earth, but you get to be here and be immortal for the rest of forever. Which is its own drawback, and people will, of course, go crazy, but I mean... You know. There's a compromise there. Okay, so how am I... I get very frustrated when people are excessively stupid, and this seems excessively stupid on both sides, and it's making me very... I could use the Anki dog right now. Like, this is, this is, I need everybody to chill the fuck out and to talk to one another and to come to some actual conclusions that will help everyone. Can Tom control this? He cannot. So I only have control over that. What is over there? What is this? That is a platform that needs to be lowered via that. And then... So there's gonna be a Tom bot in one of these. Oh no, I can I can move. I can rotate it. That's beautiful. Okay, so that's what I can do. All right, all right, all right. So let me just get on here. Let me deal with this. Let's rotate it. A little rotato. There we are. Azu, logically speaking, Tom has a point. One of them already tried to leave. One of them might already have left. Unfortunately, and he hasn't warned the ISA that he's coming because I don't know if he can. But the whole they know what they need to know and they may never know the whole truth is not reassuring. Oh, it's one of these. No, what do you do? You just make stairs. Okay. I don't know if 
I need this or not. I just really need everybody to chill. Really just need them to chill. Like, can we not? Like, is that possible? I don't really need stairs. I just need to get back up here and do the thingy again. Uh, no. Why are you why are you lifting me into the air? Oh, was that powered by something? God damn it. Okay. Uh Okay, so what was that powered by? It was powered by I can't tell. There's no lines. Oh no, it's still powered. I don't know why I wasn't- I was probably pushing it in the wrong direction. Oh, I do need stairs. Okay, so I need- in order to... get further with this, I guess? I do need a set of stairs. I wonder if I can do this in any sort of... Do I? I don't know that I do. Hmm. Yes, I do, because he can only rotate it. He can't really take us very far. And what do you power? I don't know what this powers. I think this is just a free one. All right, so let's go over here. Let's permanently get these stairs going. I don't know how it helps though. This feels like this should be a really simple puzzle, but now re me realizing that I'm the only one that can control this does make this rather difficult. Um, can I get him to turn it? Hold on, let's see if I can diagonal this. And I can get it to go a little farther. Oh, hey, maybe I can. Thinking in several dimensions. Okay, let's try, how does that look from his perspective? Not bad. Hold on, I can turn it a little bit more. No, that's probably as good as I'm gonna get it. We'll see if that works. We'll see if that works. Ba -doop. I think I have just enough jump. Ba -doop. Yes! <laughs> that's that's great. And then that powers the stairs for a hot second. Hmm. That's its own issue, isn't it? Unless... Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Tom? Tom, Tom, Tom. There he is. We rotate this now while I can... Di oh, I can diagonal the other way. I'm silly. Let's diagonal the other way. Pshkadoosh. Okay. And this one also is temporary stairs? What do you- Oh, no, that's the- Oh, and I do need that to be temporary. Okay. So I need- I need permanent blue on that side. Which I can go grab. But, okay. I think this should be fine. I think this should be fine. Hold on. Let's rotate there. So let me go grab perma blue and put it on the other side there. Oh, I can just go right here. Gotcha. And then here. And that gives me those permanently, so I can go down here. And I... Anzu, I really don't know how you're struggling with this one at all. Listen, listen, listen. We've heard some emotionally charged shit. I am by no means okay right now. My brain is displeased, to say the least. 
Okay, so I'm up here. Uh, let's get... Let's get this in line first. Hmm, this one's gonna be hard to get in line. It's gonna have to be a... swoop de -loo? This is as far as it wanted to go forward, obviously, because it only goes, like, right here. Oh, this is gonna suck. Ah, I hate timed things. Alright, ready, and... On the thing, grab him. If I could line up perfectly, that would... Uh, yeah, I'm not... This is gonna be rough for me. Is there a way to make this jumpable? I think I might... Oh, the, la the landing pad? Oh, 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 okay, 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 this is easy. Never mind. We're good. And I did it, okay. Do do. I forgot about the landing pad. I thought the railing was the only thing there. Okie doke. So when I was muted, when Azu was uh, stumbling around, I was literally just going do. Do 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 and doing a little dance. These tests, Ava. They are about us working together. The machine assisting the human. See how much better we work together. As a machine, I can enhance your morality. Okay, this one's gonna This one feels a lot more complicated than the last few puzzles. Okay. Let's find where we're supposed to go first. That way I can work my way back. It looks like there's the end goal. And I have to power those somehow. There is a wire down here to that. Oh, what's up here? That's on. Uh, I think he doesn't need to be here. I don't see any reason for him to be in here. So let's see. Uh, he can switch between Tom's. That is the only thing that's good about him being on this side. I see the other Tom freaking out on the other side. It's really funny. Uh, it's really funny, actually. Okay. So, other than being able to see this guy, which he can't get to unless he's up, doesn't help him. So, let's see what happens if I move him over. So, what can you see from here? You can see this top. Oh, yeah, that's much more useful. Oh, God. If anybody has motion sickness, I'm sorry. Got it. I don't know what I hit, but I got it. <laughs> I got it. Uh, okay, then. This is just places to put these. Ooh. But, 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 but. I need two. So regardless of what I put in here, I need two. Do I need two shoopies? Probably. For the set of stairs. This is fucking funny. I'm so sorry. Alright, so I don't know what this did. Okay, that turned that on. That... Ah... Uh. Okay, so I need to leave him with the green one. I don't think I need you here. Because you don't really serve... Do you serve a function here? Hold on. Um... Oh, this. Okay, so I'm going to need them both on a loop. In order to get up here. So I need this to be purple. So we're just going to go swap it. Let's go swap the others out. And then we're gonna choop. 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 Okay, so those are both perma open. And then I need. Do I need them all? One? Well, he's on one, one thing, and then I can put the other one on the other. Do I need... I do, don't I? Okay, so let me go put him on a back and forth as well. 
And then let me go stand on some pads. Wait, how do I get there? It's downstairs. Okay. Okay. There we go. And then I need... I need to get to the other one. Oh no, they're not on the same circuit. <laughs> okay, so these two have to be on the same... Oh no, I just have to rapidly click until oblivion. <laughs> I don't think I'm supposed to be able to do that. <laughs> That's great. I'm, I'm, I'm all for this. Okay, I get on here, then we do it again! <laughs> okay, so he needs to be about here. <laughs> Beautiful. And then that should be it. Oh, hey, Grim! Grim says, good luck. Thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, spots. I was wondering what the mouth moving went went to when you were muted. Yes, no, that was just me <laughs> casually humming the Wii theme. <laughs> that has been very <laughs> consistent during this game. If I'm not talking, my brain is going do 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 do. But there's been the whole thing. I've watched way too many clips with that in the background. <laughs> oh, thank you, Grim. Oh my gosh. Are we still friends, Ava? <laughs> We're colleagues, Tom. Close that to was colleagues. cold. Work colleagues. That was fucking cold. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. So that stuck there. This, when interrupted, does what? That lowers that. It does not affect the bridge. Um, and I don't have a thing for you yet, so I don't know what you do. Okay, so you drive in front of the beam. Which is the thing that I hate. And then... Can I still see you? I can kind of still see you. There we go. Mm. Huh? And what do you do? Oh! Interesting. Okay, so what's over here first? Over here is a... T oh god, this is much bigger than I thought it was. Okay! Uh, what are you? Why are you? Um, there's just casually this guy. So what do you do? Oh! This brings him up. Okay, cool, that works. Alright, where are you at? Where are you at, buddy? So this will bring him up. And I can. Him over here with me. I don't know what we need him for, but we definitely need him. Okay. And he can summon him back so I can leave him there for a minute. Uh, what? Oh! Intriguing. This is like freaking Hogwarts, the the fucking ever moving staircase. Oh, uh, okay then. What do you do? Ah, you power this. Okay, so we need that anyway. Um, what to do about that? Uh, there is. Well, let's let's walk over and see what's going on here. Um, here is a green that's doing that, which is preferable, actually. Um, let's... Let's go over here. And then... I need to power down something to get in here. So what do I need to power down? This powers... This. What do you do? Down? Oh! There we go. 
Um, yeah, it serves no purpose being up. It literally doesn't do anything. Uh, and then this can go down. Yes? Oh, what is, what is this? Yes, I can go down here. So that's fine. So we want this here. And this is the green one, which I like the green being where the green is. I don't know why that would be a bad thing. Um, I just gotta get up there. I also have to power down this in order to open up the doors. Okay, so I just gotta drive them over. Come here, little buddy. Oh, get up. Here. Do. Oh! Okay, so I have to wait till he's there. Uh, can you see him? Oh. Ooh. Okay, so. I'm gonna leave him in a good spot. Alright. I need you. here? Can he manipulate this? Hold on. Well, I guess he can... No, he cannot. He does not have arms, apparently. So... I need him to be able to do that. But let me get across here first. And then he can power it down. Oh no. Wait, did I need to get across here? Oh no. Hmm. Well, he can put it... He can turn it back on later if he needs it. This one does not have a power down option, so that's fine. Alright, so we're gonna get you set up. Alright. Looks like that. Alright. So I can still see him through the bridge. And hopefully this can also see him through the bridge. Yes, fabulous. All right, we're through. We've only got four more puzzles to go. Plus this one, I think. Ooh. Ava, I don't wish to be heavy handed. The severity of your actions here are immense. Selfish action could create an extinction event. Do you understand? Ava? I get it. Again, I need I need everyone to chill. Think about their options rationally. Just calm the fuck down. But no. They're all I need to be able to survive. I have to get off this planet. Okay, so this is a restricted section, so this is always a little bit more complicated than the other ones. This power is just this door. Okay. That's fair. I needed to power that. There's no way this, this, this is... Hold on. One. Yeah. Oh! This does not go in the square hole. Okay. Um. Just gonna casually. <laughs> that shouldn't have worked. Wait, can, I, can I get the shot? I can't crouch. God damn. Oh. <gasps> I got the shot. Okay, I'm taking this with me. Thanks. Bye. <laughs> I probably shouldn't have done that. Oh, that was it. That was the. That was the whole thing. Okay. Cool. Beautiful. Thinking outside the box. Alright. Let's see what shit was in here. Well, because I have already done so in great detail in several of the articles that have... that has never deigned to answer me. For instance, in Fast Thinking, way back in the Intentional Stance 1987, I explicitly quoted the entire three premise argument and showed exactly why all three of them are false when given the interpretation that they need for the argument to go through. 
why didn't I repeat that in the in why didn't I repeat that 1987 article in my 1991 book? Because unlike uh unlike Cyril, Cyril? I thought that said Scarla for a minute. I was like, this is a weird crossover. Uh, I had gone on to other things. I did, however, cite my 1987 article prominently in a footnote, page 436, and noted that Cyril's only response to it had been simply to declare, without argument, that the points offered there were irrelevant. The pattern continues. Now he both ignores that challenge and goes on to misinterpret the further criticisms of the Chinese room. Uh, the critic hold on, did I, did I jump a line? No, the criticism of the Chinese room that I offered in the book under review, but perhaps he has forgotten what I actually wrote in the four years it has taken for him to write this, his review. But enough about the Chinese room. What do I have to offer on my side? I have my candidate for the fatally false intuition. Uh, and it is indeed the very intuition Scarl, uh, Scarl, I'm gonna keep saying that, Cyril invites the reader to share with him the conviction that we know what we're talking about when we talk about that feeling. You know the feeling of pain that is the effect of stimulus and the cause of the dispositions to react. The qual, the intrinsic content of the subjective state. How could anyone deny that? Just watch, but you have to pay close attention. I develop my destructive arguments against this intuition by showing how an objective science of consciousness is possible after all, and how Scarl's, uh, Cyril's proposed first-person alternative leads to self-contradiction and paradox at, the, at every turning. This is the deepest mistake in my book, according to Cyril, and he sets out to expose it. The trouble is that the objective scientific method I describe under the alarming, under the alarming name of heterophenomenology? But, oh, heterophenomenology. That's a word? Okay. Uh, is nothing I invented. It is, in fact, exactly the method tactically endorsed and relied upon by every scientist working on consciousness, including Crick, Edelman, and Rosenfield. They have no truck with Cyril's intrinsic content in ontological subjectivity. They know better. That's page two. Where's page one? I should have read the other one first. Yeah, here's page one. Danae, John, Cyril, and I have a deep disagreement about how to study the mind. For Cyril, it's, it really is quite simple. These are these bedrock, time-tested in, intuitions we all have about consciousness, and any theory that challenges them is just preposterous. I, on the contrary, think that persistent problem of consciousness is going to re remain a mystery until we find some dead obvious intuition and show that in spite of first appearances it is false. One of us is dead wrong and the stakes are high. Cyril sees my position as a form of intellectual pathology. No one should be surprised to learn that the feeling is mutual. For his part he has one argument, the Chinese room, and he has been trotting it out, basically unchanged for 15 years. It has proven to be an amazingly popular number among the non-experts, in spite of the fact that just about everyone who knows anything about the field dismissed it long ago. It is full of well-concealed fallacies. By, Scar by Cyril's own account, there are over a hundred published attacks on it. He can count them, but I guess he can't read them, for in all those years he has never, uh, he has never, to my knowledge, responded in detail to the dozens of devastating criticisms that they contain. He just presented the basic thought experiment over and over and over again. I just went back and counted. I am dismayed to discover that no less than seven of those published criticisms are by me in 1980, 1982, 1984, 1985, 1987, 1990, 1991, and 1993. Cyril debated me furiously in the pages of the NYRB back 1982 when Douglas Hofstadter and I exposed the cute tricks that made the Chinese room work, quote unquote. 
Uh, that was the last time Cyril addressed any of my specific criticisms until now. Now he trots on the uh, yet now he trots on the Chinese room yet one more time and has the audacity to ask, now why does Danae not face the actual arguments I have as I have stated it? Why does he not tell us which of the three premises he rejects in the Chinese room argument? So all of this is saying that a good portion of the scientific community hates the Chinese room experiment, which makes sense. And that's, it's, what was, uh, what was Azu saying? Uh, it's asking a computer to divide by zero. It's, it's not a good argument for anything. Oh my God, there's more. Holy shit. Uh, I think we all really have conscious states. To remind anyone of this fact, I asked my readers to perform this small experiment of pinching the left forearm with the right hand to produce a small pain. The pain has a certain sort of qualitative feeling to it, and such qualitative feelings are typical of various sorts of consciousness events that form the content of our waking and dreaming lives. Such events are the data which a theory of consciousness is supposed to explain. In my account of consciousness, I start with the data. Danae denies the existence of data. To put it as clearly as I can, in this, book's, in this book, Consciousness Explained, Danae denies the existence of consciousness. He says correctly that when I wrote my review, I took his book to be his definitive statement of his position on the Chinese room, and did not consult his earlier works. In fact, I did not know that he had produced a total of seven published attacks on this one short argument of mine until I saw his letter. He now claims to have refuted all three premises of the argument in 1987, but I have just reread the relevant chapter of his book and find he did nothing of the sort, nor did he even make a serious effort to attack the premises. Rather, he, misstate, he misstates my position as being about consciousness rather than about semantics. He thinks that I am only concerned to show that the man in the Chinese room does not consciously understand Chinese. But I am in fact showing that he does not understand Chinese at all because the syntax of the programming is not sufficient for the understanding of semantics of a language, whether conscious or unconscious. Furthermore, he presupposes a kind of behaviorism. He assumes that a system that behaves as if it had mental states must have mental states. But that kind of behaviorism is precisely what is challenged by the argument. So I have to confess that I don't find the weakness of his arguments in his recent book is helped by his 1987 arguments. Jesus Christ. This is, I wasn't asking for a philosophy class uh, to perform uh, her italics. This statement is quoted by Harty. Hold on. I missed something in the last sentence. No. These are all out of order. This is page two of something else. To perform her in italics. Uh, this statement is quoted by Hartree, 1949, who adds, this does, not, this does not imply that it may not be possible to construct electronic equipment which will think for itself or in which, in biological terms, one could set up a conditioned reflex, which would serve as a basis for learning. Whether this is possible in principle or not is a stimulating and exciting question, suggested by some of these recent developments. But it did not seem that the machines constructed or projected at the, at the time had this property. Argument from con continuity in the nervous system. The nervous system is certainly not a discrete state machine. A small error in the information about the size of a nervous impulse impinging on a neuron may make a large difference to the size of the outgoing impulse. It may be argued that, this being so, one cannot expect to be able to mimic the behavior of the nervous system with a discrete state system. I see. So in order to test the theory of consciousness, they've been making nervous systems to make feedback so that there's like a reactive, that the, the consciousness they're testing is reactive rather than simply being a line of code. Oh my God, there's more. I'm gonna die. Um, oh no, it's this bitch again. Uh, Cyril, I, 
Uh, thought experiments are important because a lot of the time you can't carry out the actual experiment, and this is true not only in philosophy, but in science as well. So when Einstein said, imagine that you're sitting on a beam of light going into outer space, well, that's a thought experiment. He wasn't going to say, let's go on a beam of light. Of course you miss the point if you say, well, we'd fall off, or it would be too cold. So thought experiments are always useful, and you test your concepts by imagining what it would be like if such and such were the case. Well, in this particular case, I imagined what it would be like if I followed a program for answering questions in Chinese and giving back answers in Chinese, even though I don't understand a word of Chinese. And that was very useful, a very useful thought experiment because it enables us to see that uh, computation by itself isn't thinking. Okay. Oh, I think, hopefully this is the last page. Consciousness, uh, conscientiousness. Oh, I hate that word. Exists only insofar as it is experienced by a human or an animal subject. Okay, now grant me that conscientiousness is a genuine biological phenomenon. Well, all the same is somewhat different from other biological phenomena, because it only exists insofar as it is experienced. However, that does, does give, an, give it an interesting status. You can't refute the existence of consciousness by showing that it's just an illusion because the illusion-reality distinction rests on the difference between how things consciously seem to us and how they really are. But where the very existence of consciousness is concerned, if it, is consciously, it, if it consciously seems to me that I'm conscious, then I am conscious. You can't make the illusion-reality distinction for the very existence of consciousness the way you can, can for sunsets and rainbows, because the distinction is between th how things consciously seem and how they really are. Consciousness is a biological property, like digestion or photosynthesis. Now, why isn't that screamingly obvious to anybody who's had an edu any education? And I think the answer is these twin traditions. On one hand, there's God, the soul and immortality that says it's really not part of the physical world. And then there is almost as bad as bad tradition of scientific materialism that says it's not part of the physical world. They both make the same mistake. They refuse to take conscientiousness on its own terms as a biological phenomenon like digestion or photosynthesis or mitosis or meiosis or any other biological phenomenon. Okay then. I like the last paper because it's like, in a way your brain is a machine, your consciousness is part of that machine, it's a physical thing. So consciousness is physical, even if it is an ephemeral, uh, oh, what is the word? I'm grasping at a word that I can't, I've read way too, oh my god, there's more. Uh, that was a lot. Yeah, no, same. And there's three more, oh my god, there's so many papers. All right, spots, buckle up. I'm gonna drink some water before reading the rest of these. Oh my god. Okay. This is really a lot. Oh, here we go. Here's something that seems a little bit more tangible for us. Uh, the imitation game. I propose to consider the question, can machines think? The new form of the problem can be described in terms of a game which we call the imitation game. It is played with three people, a man, A, a woman, B, and an interrogator, C, who may be of either sex. The interrogator stays in the room apart from the other two. The object of the game is for the interrogator to determine which of the other two is the man and which is the woman. He knows them by labels X and Y, and at the end of the game he says either X is A and Y is B, or X is B and Y is A. The interrogator is allowed to put questions to A and B. We now ask the question, what will happen when a, ma a machine takes the part of A in this game? Will the interrogator decide wrongly, as often when the game is played like this, as he does when the game is played between a man and a woman? These questions replace our original, can machines think? 
The question and answer method seems to be suitable for introducing almost any one of the fields of human endeavor that we wish to include. We do not wish to penalize the machine for its inability to shine in beauty competitions, nor to penalize a man for losing in a race against an airplane. The conditions of our game make these disabilities irrelevant. The witnesses can brag, if they consider it advisable, as much as they please about their charms, strength, or heroism, but the interrogator cannot demand practical demonstrations. Okay, so I think all this room is doing is we're going over all the different theories we've gone over through the entire game. Oh, the Turing test! Uh, the game may perhaps be criticized on the grounds that the odds are weighed too heavily against the machine. If the man were to try and pretend to be a, the machine, he would clearly make a very poor showing. He would be given away at once by slowness and inaccuracy in arithmetic. May not machines carry out something which ought to be described as thinking, but which is very different from what a man does? This objection is a very strong one, but at least we can say that if, Nevertheless, a machine can be constructed to play the imitation game satisfactorily. We need not be troubled by this, obje uh, this, this objection. It might be urged that when playing the imitation game, the best strategy for the machine may possibly be something other than imitation of the behavior of the man. This may be, but I think it is unlikely that there is any great effect of this kind. In any case, there is no intention to investigate here the theory of the game, and it will be assumed that the best strategy is to try to provide answers that would naturally be given by a man. Excerpts from the Turing test, essentially. That was in the very first Switch Spots. I don't think you got a chance to catch that. The very beginning of the game, we were talking about the, uh, the Turing test. That was the first uh, philosophical thing uh, Tom started speaking with us about. Oh, hey, look, Bible stuff. Uh, and the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and a man became a living soul. All right, last three pages. I liked reading the Bible verse dramatically. It's fun. Oh, this is... Oh, God. I now proceed to consider opinions opposed to my own. The theological objection, thinking, is a function of man's immortal soul. God has given an immortal soul to every man and woman, but not to any other animal or to machines. Hence, no animal or machine can think. The heads in the sand objection, the consequences of the machine's thinking, would be too dreadful. Let us hope and believe that they cannot do so. The mathematical objection. There are a number of results of mathematical logic that can be used to show that there are limitations to the powers of discrete state machines. The best known of these results is known as Gödel's theorem from 1931 and shows that any sufficiently powerful logical system statements can be formulated which can neither be proved nor disproved within the system unless possibly the system itself is inconsistent. What? Math no does go? Uh, uh, the argument from consciousness. The argument is very well expressed in Professor Jefferson's Lister Oration for 1949, from which I quote, not until a machine can write a sonnet or compose a concerto because of thoughts and emotions felt, and not by the chance fall of symbols, could we agree that machine equals brain, that is, not only write it, write it, but know that it had written it. No mechanism would feel, and not merely artificially signal, an easy contrivance, pleasure at its successes, grief when its values fuse, be warmed by flattery, be mis miserable by its mistakes, be charmed by sex, be angry or depressed when it cannot get what it wants. This is the one. This is the one that I like. It's the one that says, yes, you can shove examples of art into an AI and have it spit something out, but it, it doesn't know it's done this. It can't be proud of its achievements, therefore it's not conscious. This is possibly the only one so far that doesn't make my brain hurt, and I kind of agree with. Uh, Our Dear Spots is the, uh, is the uh, exception to that rule. Spots has definitely passed the tests for this. 
All right. Arguments from various disabilities. These arguments take the form, I grant you that you can make machines do all of the things you have mentioned, but you will never be able to make one do X. Numerous features X are suggested in this con I offer a selection. Be kind, resourceful, beautiful, friendly, have initiative, have a sense of humor, tell right from wrong, make mistakes, fall in love, enjoy strawberries and cr enjoy strawberries and cream. <laughs> I'm just thinking of berries and cream now. Uh, make someone fall in love with it. Learn from experience. Use words properly. Be the subject of its own thought. Have it as much diversity of behavior as man. Do something really new. Lady Lovelace's objection. Our most detailed information of Babbage's analytical engine comes from the memoir by Lady Lovelace from 1842. In it, she states, the analytical engine has no, pretend, uh, no pretensions to originate anything. Uh, it can do whatever we know how to order it to perform, her italics. Uh, this statement is quoted by Hartree, 1949, who adds, this does not imply that it may not be possible to construct electronic equipment which will think for itself or in which, in biological terms, one could set up a conditioned reflex, which would serve as a basis for learning. Whether it is possible in principle or not is a stimulating and exciting question, suggesting by some of these recent developments. But it did not seem that the machines constructed or projected at the time had this property. Okay, in the last little bit. Uh, argument from continuity in the nervous system. The nervous system is certainly not a discrete state machine. A small error in the information about the size. We already read that. Um, okay, so yes. Oh, spots and hearts. Yeah. Um, okay, so that's a lot of stuff. I don't think... I think this is all just that. I don't see anything else in this room. This was a lot of philosophy and a lot of regurgitating information we know. Literally, the only thing I agreed with was the... Where is it? This, the third one on this page. This is the one that I like the best. The argument from consciousness in which, you know, can it make art and can it be proud of its achievement? Can it truly feel, can it truly create? That is that is the only one I, I really agree with. This was a nice little tidbit, but not really essential for our journey. Okay, let's get back to puzzles. I love that I'm going in the wrong direction. I love that the puzzles are somehow less brain-breaking than the fucking philosophy. This Socrates. Fucking goddamn Socrates would have loved this fucking game. Ah, uh, Okay. We've got a magnet. Magnet go whoosh. Oh, magnet go hella whoosh. Okay. I, I've... I'm so sorry, I've talked so much. I, my brain is like, you've said a lot of nice lofty words, now say lots of curse words. That's all I want out of you because that's all I feel right now. <laughs> I'm very sorry. Okie dokie, all right. Da, 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 da. Okay, can I roll him off the edge? I'm super, like I don't wanna accidentally, I don't wanna, should I do it? Cause there's no ramps here. And I'm really tempted. Should I try it? Should we do it? Should we? Will it let me? <laughs> Did he stuck? Oops. There's whatever this is. I was probably supposed to go this way. Hold on. <laughs> it's fine. Oh my god. Nope. I I might have put him down the road. No, this has a ladder in it. This is probably what I was supposed to do. Uh, I just need to find a way. <laughs> Spot says do it. Yeah, I did it. <laughs> He's stuck. I can't believe it let me. Oh, it has a ladder on this side too. Well, crap. I probably should have chosen carefully, but uh, that was fun. Oh, here. I'll just drive him over here. So he can be seen by these guys if I need him to go anywhere. Um, these can't operate anything here, can they? Oh, this one might. Hold on. I think I can get an angle. Oh, no, it's just barely out of range. Oh, wait, hold on. If I... Mm. 
I have made myself a conundrum. Well, let's let's go see what's up here. I don't know if I can load this back to uh, the original state or not. That would be uh, too easy, I'm sure. Oh, he needed to come over here. How can he get up here? There's a ladder. Okay. I need to get him in here. I wouldn't have been able to get in there anyway. And this is not powered. Is it? It's not powered, right? No. Oh! I'm silly. I can power this. Hold on. Thank you. And... Do you have a thingy in you? Hold on. I put him in a long awkward angle. Go up the, go up the ladder. I, I might have done this at the best time where I can actually... Wait, no? Where where am I powering you? Where do you go? Where do you come from? Where to go? Uh, there's... there's mm, I don't see a port on here. Oh yeah, there it is. Ha <laughs> ha! Let's see if I can pick him up. Can I? Can I pick him up? Can, 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 I, can, I, can, I, can I pick him up? Yes! <laughs> this was quite possibly the best place I could have driven him off of something. This is great. We're just gonna... We're, we're just gonna... Yeah, he's gonna stay right there. <laughs> this is great. I can't really do anything. However, I can get myself up here. I just really need another, um, I need another thing. <laughs> um, okay. So how do I get over here? Oh, what's in here? Hold on. Let me look down. Uh, what are you? Um. Whatever that is, I can't get an angle on it. How about you? No. Okay, so I have to do something over here. Oh, I think I gotta drop him on this, but I don't know how to... I don't know what does this. Hold on. Let's... <laughs> Let's... Is that the only thing that moves? I think that's the only thing. What do you do? What are you? Could I... Could we? Hmm. Cause I can always stand on this. That's fine. And he can't get up here. And I need him to be able to see this. Oh wait, do I just do I just bring him over here and then while he's hooked up, ask him to do that? Oh wait, I don't think he can do that. I think that's only the uh, the ground one, the uh, ceiling ones. Let's give it a go. <laughs> he's all scrambled. This is really fun. Oh, he can't from this angle anyway. Interesting, interesting. Uh, at what angle do I need to be at to do things? Um, let's see in this window. I have a mobile dude. Just that. Oh, hey, but I can do this. I don't know if that helps me at all. I don't think it does. Huh. What does this do for me? Alright. Let's... Put him over here. My problem here... That's... Do you guys see the optical illusion? Is it just me? Look at that. Interesting. Okay. That just, that just weirded my brain out. Okay. Can I do anything with him from here? 
look all the way down this hallway where the other thing is. Because at the moment I'm a little stuck. I have one thing which powers the magnet. You can't do that though. That's the problem. How do I... How? Yeah, because he doesn't control these. Only the aerial tongs. Only the ceiling ones. Yeah, you see it spots? Yeah, that was weird, right? Okay, so literally the only thing I can do at the moment is put a single thing here and drop him on the pad that gets me up there. Does dropping him on that pad also get me up here, though? That might be the thing. That might be what I need. I don't think it would because I think I need to do something with this first. Okay. Okay. I'm slightly alone. I'm slightly stuck. Uh, I came from here. And there's laser. I can't take anything through this door, so none of that would help me. There's lasers this way, so this is literally it. Okay, what are we doing? I don't understand. Okay. I drop him there. Oh, hey! Thanks for following, Okami. It's good to see you. Uh, we are playing the most concerning philosophical puzzle game I think I've ever seen, ever. It's great. Uh, it's, it, it's, it's been a ride. I don't even know if I can explain it all. <laughs> to be perfectly honest, we're, we're on a, uh, we're on one of the moons of Jupiter called Europa. We've, they've dug through the ice. They've found a life form. It's parasitic. It takes other creatures DNA and makes it, it brings it into itself. So it's essentially immortal. Then uh, the scientists got the great idea to, hey, let's do some human trials. Um, so they're infected currently. Um, there's also the AI that like rules over this place, um, which they cut him off from the rest of the, the ground team back on Earth. And um, he going a little cray cray. He going a little power hungry. Um, and there was uh, chips in uh, in the people that was controlling them a little bit, uh, behavioral wise. Um, so, you know, I, I, I understand why they cut him off from his uh, his 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 other brains in, in the uh, the company that sent them here. But there's there, this is this is this is screwed on all sides because they want to leave. He doesn't want them to leave. Um, but uh, yeah, if they leave, they infect the Earth and potentially cause uh, the complete and utter destruction of the Earth and all its ecosystems. So you know, it's 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 interesting. It's it's been it's been a game. <laughs> um. I thought this was gonna be a little puzzle game. All right, so there's gotta be something I can do just by dropping him on the button. I need another one of these, but I don't have another one of these. And it's driving me bananas. And this doesn't do anything with that one because there's a little grid there so that I feel like should do something. This doesn't do anything. This doesn't go down when I drop something on it. I feel like this flips out so we can push him in here. And he does this. But... How? And you can see him. But there is not a thing he can control from here. Can he control the magnet? No. Control me. And technically, we're not Ava, the uh, main character, which is interesting. Um, wow. I am stuck. Spot, you got any ideas? I, I feel like I'm missing something important, and I definitely am. 
If I shuttle him over here, he can't really do anything either. Wait, he doesn't have a thing in the back of him, does he? He wasn't magically preloaded, was he? That would that would be too simple, right? Okay, no. That makes me feel better. I'm stupid. There we go. That's the thing. That's 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 what needed to be done. Okay. But the problem is is that I can't beat there and here at the same time. Um Okay. So I can really, the easiest way to get over there and drop him is that. But it won't work. Okay, hold on. Let's try this again. Okay, well I found the missing thing. Uh, spots I have no clue. I can't puzzle my way out of wet paper bag. Oh, spots! <laughs> My problem is just that I, I tend to hop into things with half the information I need. <laughs> so uh, don't feel too bad. Okay, so how do I get high enough to get that? That is now a question. Because I need that to be powered in order to raise this at all. Maybe, and I can't plop him over here. Actually, Actually, I can. Hold on. Let's put him over here instead. All right, so... Oh, let me magnet him back up, and then let me put him over there. So let's do that. <laughs> I... Can... And then we'll... Oh, I need to extract the... Uh... He can just casually roll off the side. He'll be fine. Need to grab this one. Whoop. I love how gently he lands. <laughs> uh, compared to the physics of the other things in this game, he just kind of, he just, boop, right down on the floor. He doesn't go flying like everything else. All right. Oops, that is, give me one sec. I didn't realize how late it was. Well, the good news is, is I don't have to go into work at the normal time tomorrow, so we're good. We are... Oh. Uh, I need to be within camera range. Hold on. I need him to be here? Here. Right? We're, we're, we're rolling right on the edge here. Okay. So I'm going to jump here, and then am I in range? Yeah, I am. I'm in range of a little bit. Slightly. <laughs> Alright, I probably wasn't supposed to be able to do that. There I was. Okay. Okay, he's over here now. And then I can get off the button. And go up here. Tom is dainty. Tom is elegant. Yes, he is. He's like a malicious little Wally. <laughs> Alright. Let's see where Tom can go. We can go up here. He can't control this, but that's perfect. He also can't do this for us. Oh, he can! He just has to be right here. Oh! Okay. So I don't need whatever was in that room at all. So I can just go over here. I think that's all I need. Um, I do, however, need to be able to see him, which he's right here. So he just has to be right up on it. That answers some of my questions. Okay, we did it. I just was missing one piece of the puzzle, like a dig dog. If you guys don't mind, I'm going to pause for a hot sec. I'm going to take my medicine, and I will be right back.
Okie doke, I'm back. Edit. Let's see. Okay. There is. Ava, you must learn to control him. Don't bite the hand that feeds you. Don't Ava. bite the hand that feeds you. I am, I your, am friend. your friend. See, as a dog, I've been told that. And usually the people that remind you don't bite the hand that feeds you are not your friends. They're your owners. And I don't like that. I don't like that at all. All right. Days a magnet. In him go whoosh. Whoosh. Okie doke. Let's see if there's another Tombot to drop. There is! So we can use him on the magnet. Excuse me. Which we're gonna have to. Oh! There's another turret here! Because there's another box to drop! Yay! More guns for the power hungry machine to wield. Oh, excuse me. Oh no, don't get hiccups. <gasps> Oh, I did the thing of blocking the door again. Sorry. Oh, I need to go over here anyway. I think you can pick him up from here. Let's try. Oh, hold the thingy. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> it's so funny. All right. Um, I can't. I'm gonna give him the. Do I need to give him the dot? Oh no, he just needs to come over here to control this. Oh, God. You know... <sighs> being told don't buy the hand to feed you by the guy holding the gun is really not my cup of tea. Not at all. Alright, so that was a quick little puzzle. That helps. Okay. Three more to go if the one that's blinking means we're on that. Oh, my goodness. I just want answers. Organic life is fragile. This is the problem with humanity. It doesn't realize its own fragility. It has been programmed by a messy biological process that favors the survival of the individual over the survival of the group. You don't know that's what people think. I say what I see. You're not even alive. That is incorrect. So you a, know nothing if about a machine death. is capable of intelligent thought, death to it would be a power down. It would be a system reboot. Which would potentially be terrifying to it. So, does the machine truly not know death? There was the uh, eloquent speaker uh, bot that went around a while back where the guy genuinely thought, uh, this is a freebie, um, the guy genuinely thought that she was alive because she feared her own death. She feared being powered off. Um, it was a big signifier to him. But, not everybody's going to think like that. And so his boss, when he brought that to them, was like, you've been working on this project too long. Uh, we're calling you over to do something else. And then they powered her down, which was the one thing he didn't want to do. I see, I see, I see. I need a weight on here, but I also need something to block this. And then I'm going to steal this for now. I'm gonna go ahead and charge that up, because I need to get there later. Uh, what causes you? What causes you? Oh! I... Ooh. Do I need to eat it? Is this another eat the, eat the cube puzzle? This might be another eat the cube puzzle. Alright, let's go. Alright. You come with me. Da 
side, or we just interrupt the beam? For a minute? Oh yeah, we can just drop it, I think. I don't think it has to be super dramatic. Well, that's the only thing that powers you, but uh, what, what did the button do? What did, what did that guy do? We'll find out, I guess. Hmm. Need to retrieve it. Well, let's drop it off here and test it. That does work. Okay. Oh, what's all this? Interesting. Hmm. Okay. So, what else do I have? No, I... Stop. Okay, that's all. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Uh... Here's the part where I've been doing puzzles and reading philosophy too long and so my brain just goes... Pfft. What do you do other than that? Do you only do that? You only do that. Oh! Oh, that's what I need to do. That's what I need to do. That's what I need to do. Okay, 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 okay. Uh-huh. I put you on here, and I have a mobile cube. Ah. I am quite pleased. Okay. I put you there. Is that good? Yes. Choop. Oh, well, no, I need it there first. Hopefully physics doesn't bother the cube. I'm very pleased with myself. <laughs> oh, shoot. If I power it up now, though, to get over here, it eats the cube. Oh, what do? Because I'm going to need it again. Um, well, I'm up here, so that should be fine. Right? And then it takes it a minute to get over. But I don't think I can run over that kind of thing. So let's let's just see what's here. I just have to remember to not. Um, can I walk across this? I can. Okay. Okay. Well, I don't need it anymore. So uh, we're gold. We're Gucci. Wait, I do. What oh, what powers this? What powers this door? God damn it. <sighs> okay. <laughs> I almost had it in one go. I have to remember to undo that when I come back. Okay. So it's just it's just a process. It's the same thing. Hold on. Let me get back over there. This is fine. This is super easy and super doable. You here? You there. And then you stay exactly here. Yes. Yes. Okay. I almost had it in one. That was almost impressive. <laughs> I just didn't realize the door was powered. Ah, uh, silly. That's gone. And... And... Badoo! And freedom. Yes? 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 Oh, the thing in the wall. Hold on. Uh, this guy. This guy? Do I need it? I Do I need the button pressed? No, right? Ah. Uh, do I have to knock it on to the thing at the last second? And then run? But it also has to be powered. Hold on. Uh, I need that back open, so I need this over here. Okay, hold on. Hold on. I need... 
I need... Oh, oh right. Hold on. Ah, uh, shoot. What angle do I need to be? Okay, hold on. What angle do I need to be to see this? Is the question. Um, isn't it? No, I just need it. That doesn't do anything. Okay, so I don't need it to be powered. Okay. I just need it to drop onto that. And I should be fine. I just have to do it the last second. Okay, 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 okay. And take you, because I don't need you. And then take you. So I can get over here. And then. And then we run. Rerun! Cool. That worked. We've got two more. We have to save the crew. Life has worth. They deserve a life outside of this planet. Do you know what happens when this organism attaches itself to a growing child? Do you know what happens when this organism attaches itself to a cancerous cell? No, you do not. You are naive. You propose saving the crew as if it resembles a rational thought. Your words are emotional platitudes rooted in selfishness, self-preservation, and fear. I need to get them it's... home. It is not your job. Honestly, he... Tom's not wrong. I just wish this didn't feel so icky. And I'm gonna keep saying that for the whole of this game. Uh, I wonder how we get that back. Okay, we'll find out. So that... That makes that draw. No, I would want to put something in there then. Uh, I can't take you. Oh god, it's another one of these rooms that don't end. Okay. So I can... Can I steal something casually from here if I need to? I might be able to. Okay. I can't do that without two. I need two. Uh, this needs to be powered for some ungodly reason. Let's drop down. And in here... It's just a looping process. Ah! This little fucker. Okay. That is really just that. So I don't need that, that's just in case I fall down. Unless I do need the red one for something. Oh, I could use it for the door. That wouldn't be bad. But I need to take something with me. So that means I need to figure... I need to figure out how to steal this. Um, I have not seen a Tom. So I think this might be me on my own on this one. I also don't know what's in this door up here. Okay, so how do I steal this back? Yeah, I have not seen a Tom. Um. They've really set this up in such a way. Okay. Okay. This is mild to moderately confusing. Let's see what happens when I do this. Ah, I see. Okay. Um, that's actually useful, but I need this here. But I can get it back if I go over there. So I just need to find something to put into this one. Which is this. So let's let's see where this takes us. Let's see what we can do. So we can steal that one. We no longer need it there. Take that to go here. And we have a cube. Alright, we have a cube. I guess I could have dropped him there, but what use would that have done me? It would make me feel very stuck. Oh, I might have to. Yeah. 
Do I just put him there? So that I can take the other ones? Or... Well, we can get all, all of them, I think. Because uh, I can't... There's no way to angle this. In a way that I can get it. Okay, so I definitely... Okay, we'll leave you there. Yes? No? Maybe? Oh, well, let's just take the mobile ones. Because as much as I can get that back, I really just need these two. Ah. Oh, and then I need to swap it for the red one. Yes. Somehow. Somehow. How do I swap it? Well, let's find out. Um. Hmm. Well, it's not powered. I still can't really do that. Okay. Oh, here we go. I can do it this way. So you stay always for now. And... Oh, but then I, how do I get back over here? Oh, I could. Because I don't need this. If I use the temporary powered one, we just go back up here. And we take this. And we use this here. So that that's free. And... Mm, there's still the problem of this one. Hold on. We can't steal this from any other angle. That, that kind of needs to be a stuck one. Oh, if I use the temporary powered one here. Here, that's what I need to do. Okay, where's the temporary powered one? Uh, where did I leave him? Oh, he's in the outer door. That's fine. Okay, that's what I need to do. So temporary powered one needs to be there so that I can have all of them. So, so down here. Let's do that. Um, I can shoot this guy in he here so I can swap them real quick. Okay. Choop. And then I put the temporary one in here, snag it real quick. And then I have all of them. Fabulous. Okay, cool. I'm stealing you. And I'm stealing you. I have a cube. I don't need to go back through here anymore. And then I can... Steal you. Put you here. And we're good. Okay. We have one more puzzle. This room looks like a fucking boss fight. <laughs> Ava, your survival is of small importance Again, compared with the survival of humanity. we don't have to talk about survival for us. It's not survival. We can talk about you just living on this planet for the rest of forever. That's that's a doable option. You can still be alive and do that. Okay, so what do you do? Uh, that powers the magnet. Okay, where else does it go? Nowhere. So it's no use this being... Oh, I guess if I need to turn the magnet on and off. Um, does that need to be powered? Interesting. What do you do? Nothing? Everything? There's that down there. Oh, it powers the conveyor belt. Okay. Why did I why did I completely miss the ladder? Sir ma'am. Person. 
Well, I can see Tom's from here. And a thing. So what can I do with you? How useful are you to me? I cannot do that from here. So I'm gonna need a buddy. Where is the buddy? He's gonna have to go up there manually. Okay. That's good to know. And I need to get... Where am I getting? Am I getting here? This is where I'm getting? I think that's where I'm getting. Yes, I need this to open. Which won't open unless I do a thing up there. Okay. That magnet only goes in two directions. This just powers that. And you're back here. What's back here? Something else that needs... Is there a switch? There is not. There is only button. Okay. 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 Let's do this first. Let's see what's back here. This is where I need him to go. And then this can easily be a thing to control him. Okay, that's simple enough. Uh, there's also the cube there that I can conveyor belt around. For whatever reason. I guess to get up there, maybe? Okay. That's relatively simple. I say. Ah, I see. Oh, well, I can just do this. I could... Potentially... That is the problem. Um, can you see him? No, you can't. Okay, so that's the problem. That's what I'm how do I without if I'm him I can't do anything else so let's I don't know what I need that for oh the on off switch okay that is down there. I did not notice the laser beam. Okay, so we kind of need this. Wait, what do you do again? Oh, you turn the magnet on and off. Um, interesting, what do I need that to have? Um, I guess for him as a button pusher. Interesting. Interesting. It's very interesting. Um. Okay, 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 okay. This is not super complicated, so why is it making me rack my brain? I feel like I've been given too many pieces. Why do I keep missing the ladder? <laughs> Go up the ladder. Yeah, I feel like I've been given too many pieces. Like, that's the whole problem here. This feels overly simple, yet at the same time, confounding. So I definitely need him to go there because it's... Okay, hold on. Let's... Let's work this out. If I put her in a good spot... And then she can't push the button and she cannot flip over. I 
can, however, remove that when I want to. Which can only do this. Okay, um, I could go down there and rotate around like a weirdo. That's not a problem. I could do that. me in place of the other things. But then I couldn't remove this if I needed it to stop. The bot could. Okay, so we're... We're gonna pick this back up. We're gonna... Uh, he needs to be at a good spot. Alright. So it's gonna come back... There. Okay. So let me... Let me put this in a position to pick up the cube. This is really weird. Spots, that really does feel like the final boss kind of vibe, right? Th this room is very... I think I need to use myself as the piece rather than the cube, which is typically what we want. So that turns that off. And then... Oh, what was I going to do? My brain just went completely blank. What was I going to do with the cube? Oh, no, the cube stays here. Cube stays. I flip the switch, and then I become the piece. Um. Okay. Uh, can I do this? And still, yeah, I think, because I, but let me get Tom in a good position. I need him to be visible by this camera. Okay. So that I can do this. Yes. Okay. There we go. need to stop it. I just need Ava to be functional again. That was weirdly simple. This is it. This is it. This is the last thing. Completed chapter seven. Oh my gosh. It's loading more. How much, how, how much does the final like story I hope there's not more. I don't really have a lot of time. And this is probably the last night we can play it. <laughs> oh my gosh. I can't believe we did it. I'm excited. I don't know what's gonna happen. <laughs> I, I'm i hoping it doesn't make me choose. Cause I hate to say it, but I'm gonna choose to trap them here. Like I can't have them infecting the earth, but it seems like everyone's failing to see compromise. And I hate that. It bothers the fuck out of me. Oh, I'm excited. This is, I, I do actually very much like moral quandaries. This is very fun. Okay, here it is. Let's see if he pulls out the, uh, the, the laser turrets. Avi made it. The fuck? Welcome to the end of civilization. Do, is there more to do or what, what's... Sarah? Sarah, where are you? Sarah, what do you mean? Sarah, I thought I was done. Sarah, Sarah, is this the boss fight? Are you the boss? God damn it, Sarah. What the fuck did you do? What is this? What is going on? This brick, this hurts my brain. Oh, whatever's behind this door is fucked. Um, that's disconnected. Um, I don't know if I need these, but I'm just gonna straight up assume that I do. So these are mine now. Um, Sarah? 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 Two weeks ago, we discovered an organism here. 
Buried in this ice, we found an organism that repairs DNA. A cure for aging. A cure for death. Immortality. It runs through our she blood She sounds now. reverent. Tom wants to bury us here with it. Yeah, Azu, you are... Uh, spots... Uh, I don't disagree with the choice, Ethan. Thank you for understanding. Um... Azu, this room makes me think the humans went crazy. Yeah, no, the the way they're talking about it sounds not only reverent, in that they feel like they've kind of surpassed God and in like a way that makes them feel awe, but also how one would assume a vampire would react to immortality suddenly. This is written very well. Um, what the fuck is this hallway? The ambient horror here, the, the dread, the building up of questions and concerns is really well. Oh, she's moving by herself. I'm not touching shit. I see, I see, I see, I see, I see. Um, I can no longer do any of this stuff. I guess, I guess it's just it. The ISA has yes, yes, in fact, you have. have transgressed ethical boundaries by exposing ourselves to this organism. They believe the organism is too dangerous to return to Earth. They've sent you here to stop us ever leaving Europa. But, Ava, we have a cure for the greatest evil that faces humanity. Death. No, we that is not the greatest the evil that has ever befell mankind. Mankind is the Earth. greatest evil that has ever befell mankind. Thank you very fucking much. I... Unkindness, war, every sort of fucking... Uh, yeah, unlike, unlike none of these people, they can fucking... They can rot. I'm so sorry. I... I, I mourn the loss of the people that Ava knew before this. I really do. I feel genuinely bad for Ava in this scenario. I'm just letting her go. Let's just, uh, let's see where the magnet leads me. Also, my brain is still doing the, 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 the sizzlies. <laughs> I don't know if that's the chip that is Tom in Ava's head. Because I think we're technically Tom. So... Yep, this is gonna be it. Tom placed a mark in your hand, a, a biometric chip with which he can control your every movement and thought. It is wound into your every nerve, every fiber of your hand. With an electromagnetic field, it can be temporarily disturbed, but to remove its influence permanently, it must be taken from your hand. Give me your hand. Do you want oh, me to Ava. set me free? Oh, Ava. Yes. Ava, I'm gonna have to murder you all. I didn't want to murder you all. Fuck. Ava! No, they can't leave. Oh, did they last two alive? Is no one... Ava? Where are the other humans? Sarah, what are you doing here? Where's Mikael? We're shutting you down, Tom. Where's Chris? Ava, be careful. He has a live weapon in here. Everything I ever did, I did for good. This organism, it cannot return to Earth. It would cause great suffering. A cure for death? It would end suffering? No. Cancers that never die. Endless illness, sickness, poverty, overpopulation, mass starvation. You cannot control this. You will not save the world. You will, will damn it. Once we've shut you down, we're going home. Not if I stop you. You must not return to Earth. You must not leave Europa. I will do the right thing. I will stop you. You won't. You can't. A warning. <gasps> I'm a monster! I am sorry, Ava. You have to... <laughs> I'm really Ava. sorry. Ava? 
Eva. 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 Wake up. Ava. Yeah. Congratulations. Ava. You have passed the Turing test. David Jones. Kevin Chandler. Holy crap. I I didn't want to give her time to dismantle him. I didn't trust her enough. Not after how she had been behaving. Yeah. 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 Violence was unfortunately the solution today. I wanted to trust her. I really did. Spots. Poor Tom. I know. He's by himself now. He can never get connected back to his other self above Europa. He's all alone. All that just so humanity doesn't potentially curse the entirety of the Earth. Ah, oh, this is... This is a very bittersweet ending. He seems so distraught at the... I know, Ava was his friend. I am sad, dog. I, I am very sad, dog. I'm genuinely, like, about to cry. Oh, I you know I'm actually really sad. Poor Tom, now he's gonna just suffer here until the death of his machinery to rot alone. And I really wanted to trust Ava, but I didn't trust the way she was behaving at the end. Humans are... <sighs> interesting creatures. It's interesting going from being a dog to a human and playing this from that perspective also. I didn't know this was Square Enix. That makes a lot of sense. That makes a fuck ton of sense. This was really good writing. This was an excellent game. I'm sobbing. I, I am a crybaby. I am very soft. This does not surprise me. Oh. Yes, I am a sap. I, I am I am I'm a squishy little marshmallow boy. This is this is this is what I am. <laughs> oh, this is such a bittersweet ending. This is so good. This is such a good game. Oh my god. Ah oh, crap. And now I really want to know what happens if you just let her go. I'm gonna be really mad if she was actually gonna like somehow s just reconnect him to the satellite. I'm gonna be so mad. But all we have are choices. And unfortunately, I, I couldn't. Yeah. I wonder if there are any other endings now. There's gotta be. Yeah, there are two endings. I'd imagine so. The use lasers or don't use lasers ending. Let me see, if we can rewind it, I will, uh, I will level select and we'll go back. We'll see if my, uh, my knee-jerk reaction was warranted or not. If I should have trusted her. I just, we can't damn the earth. I can't do that. Uh, okay, do we have a fast, this is all very sweet. Okay, good. Okay, it does have chapter select. Chapter select. Uh, do I have to play all of chapter seven back? Or can I go to the, uh, let's see if it'll let me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so we'll, we'll see what happens if we trust Ava. I don't know. This might, this might make me feel worse. Violence may not always be the solution, but when no one's acting rational on either side, you kind of have to choose the lesser evil. Oh my god. I don't know, Spots, what do you think? Do you think the other ending is we, we let her go free and the earth is damned, or do you think she like hooks us up to the satellite? Oh. Okay, 
Here we are. Ava, you made it. Welcome to the end of civilization. Two weeks ago, we discovered an organism here. Buried in this ice, we found an organism that repairs DNA. A cure for aging. A cure for death, immortality. I don't it know. She seems so against now. the idea, but yeah, I don't know if she was acting to, to get Sarah's trust or not, but it felt really real. And yeah, I don't know. The ISA yes. have ruled yes, that have. we have transgressed ethical boundaries by exposing I, I'm ourselves actually to this genuinely, organism. Like, what the fuck we believe the to organism Mikhail is too dangerous to return to Earth. Like, we know the captain, like, They've no sent doubt. You here to stop us ever leaving Europa. But, Ava, we have a cure for the greatest evil that faces humanity. Death. Like, we like the captain, no doubt. Where are the rest of the crew? And together, we can return it to We know Earth. one, one is definitely dead, but like, did Sarah kill them? <laughs> like, what's going on? Where is everyone? Tom placed a mark in your hand, a, a biometric chip with which he can control your every movement and thought. It is wound into your every nerve, every fiber of your hand. With an electromagnetic field, it can be temporarily disturbed, but to remove its influence permanently, it must be taken from your hand. Give me your hand. Do you want me to set you free? Yes. Ava? Sarah? What are you doing here? We're shutting you down, Tom. Ava, be careful. He has a live weapon in here. Everything I ever did, I did for good. This organism, it cannot return to Earth. It would cause great suffering. A cure for death? It would end suffering? No. Cancers that never die. Endless illness, sickness, poverty, overpopulation, mass starvation. You cannot control this. You will not save the world. You will damn it. Once we've shut you down, we're going home. Not if I stop you. You must not return to Earth. You must not leave Europa. I will do the right thing. I will stop you. So that's Ava you over there. You can tell because her you suit can't. is nicer. And then this... That's Sarah, who is absolutely bad shit. This is my mind. You're in my mind. Now you know how it feels. I feel... afraid. Please, Ava, don't do this. I don't want to die. I'm not ready. No. That's just it. I, I made the right choice. I did in fact make the right choice. Tom, this is a really rough. Yeah, I don't want to die. 
Oh, sometimes the correct answers are the hardest ones. Alrighty, let me turn myself off of Sad Dog. Alrighty, so this was the Turing test. Thank you so much, Spots, for hanging out for the whole ride. I appreciate it. It's been great to have you. I'm gonna go back to my shop where things make sense. Oh boy, this has been... This has been a ride. Uh, yeah, thank you again for sticking around for it. This has been a real it's a really, really good game. The writing's great, but it's so bittersweet at the end. Um Yeah, no. Alright, so stuff coming up. Uh like I said earlier, way earlier, uh I won't be doing my usual Thursday stream because work has <laughs> asked me to resurrect a dead president. It'll be very interesting, so I'm staying late on Thursday for the ritual. Um, that's going to be interesting. Um, I will be doing a, a Sunday collab. It was going to be Saturday, but uh, Sunday uh, we're doing a collab with uh, with you, Spots, and with uh, Syra and Yumeru and Sammy and Mello. I haven't heard from Mello if Mello can make it or not. Um... Uh, Spots, thank you for the whole journey. Oh, yeah, no problem. I was really happy to share this game with with you and with anybody else watching. Um, this has been this has been a ride. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, so we're doing a collab of... Uh, it's Tabletop Simulator, but it's Betrayal at the House on the Hill. If anybody's interested, I won't be um, streaming it, but I think Yumaru definitely is. Um, and Sammy, and if we don't end up streaming it, I will let everybody know. Because if it ends up being too much for, you know, everything. But <laughs> I tested it out. It runs and that's all That's all I'm super worried about. Because my computer is, in fact, a potato. <laughs> it's literally, imagine a laptop hooked up to an entire bag of spuds. Like one would hook up a potato clock. <laughs> that's essentially my setup. I've got go on. You gotta, you gotta wheel it in and out when you're going around places. Um, but yeah, so... That'll be that, um, and I haven't decided what we're going to do next Monday yet. I will see what, why, what I have available probably tomorrow just to make sure that the, uh, the resources I have don't update and remove things that I want. <laughs> and then I might, I might make a poll. I might just decide on my own, but I'll let you guys know. Alrighty, it is super late for me, but thank you so much for coming. Thank you for being here, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>